Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We've uh, had our opening segment. We've got all the cobwebs out and the phones are working. Stuart Settles, our show producer, uh, filling in for uh, Greg, what's his name? Uh, who couldn't be here this week, but uh, it is the uh, second Saturday, which means Ron Wong is in the studio in between his travelings. <laughs> good morning, Larry. Hey, good, good morning, morning Ron. Bill. And Bill Cooksey's you know here. Yeah. Morning, can't, everybody. Can't wait to get out to the uh, Junior Fishing Rodeo, the TWRA That's this Fishing morning. Rodeo, as soon as we can get out of here. Yeah, we got to get out there. It's, uh, registration begins uh, at 7, fishing is 9 to 11, but... Um, Let's talk a little bit more fishing because, uh, you know, we had this guy on, uh, on our crappie show when we had, uh, it was a cool show, and we just nailed him down for our next year's turkey show because he just did an owl hoop. Uh, <laughs> an owl hoop? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a, a Mr. Uh, Mr. Mystery, co- uh, can you do that again for us? That is the voice of the American Crappie Trail. That is the voice. Sam Heaton doing a doing a turkey thing. So, good morning, Sam. Oh, there we go. There we go, Sam. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How are y'all doing? Well, we're we're kind of miserable here. No, we're doing great. We're doing great now that Wong has showed up. You know, he comes backing in here. Being miserable when you're making a, 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 a living talking about fishing on the right video. Well, that that's true, but you know, we need to get that audience up more than five, though. You know, because that really helps uh, having having just our family listening. You know, so uh, if, if, if we could get all the Wongs in the world to listen, would get we that not? Got to crank that generator. <laughs> on that handle, all right, Sam. I know that uh, we've talked a lot about uh, different situations with you. And I know you've been a guide. You're now in the Legends of the Outdoors Hall of Fame and all these great things. And we've, um, I know that you love turkey hunting and things along that line. Uh, and, and you're still in Stewart, Florida, right? Yes, yes, sir. I'm still here and plan on being here till. I look at the moon every night. Oh well, is is chilly? <laughs> is chilly and Finn still doing okay? Well, chilly passed away. Uh, oh our, man! Uh, oh, you yeah, lost chilly. She was, she was older, but I still got Finn. He's doing great, and I got a new dog named Jesse Marie. What name? We what? My, what? Name, we named him after our mothers, and she, uh, she's got. I'm ready to send her to Wong's house. Oh, <laughs> send her to Wong. Uh, Wong could take care of her and train her and everything like that. But uh, oh okay, ask him a real technical question, Ron, so I can ask hey, him. Hey, Sam, uh, you had the opportunity to read Larry Ray's um, commercial appeal article on uh, Caps and Coleman, Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman, and their mm-hmm. win, uh, their most recent win on the American Crappie Trail there. Uh, that was pretty exciting for what they did at Kentucky Lake, wasn't it? You know, those two guys are amazing. Uh, I've known them since they were both kids. Yeah. And I mean literally kids. Yes. I remember when Ronnie's little girl was born, and I've known Steve. You know, we kind of all come up the same way. I was, I commercial fish when I was in high school, and for catfish and, and, and rough fish, carp and buffalo, and they did also. And Ronnie's daddy, that's what he made a living was uh, yes, he did. fisherman. Yeah. And they grew that into uh, crappie fishing and guiding and, you know, both of them. And both those guys are just primo, primo guys. I know I love Steve to death. He was a, 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 a guard in the prison system. Yeah, that's right. He got hooked. Yeah. yeah. And Ronnie is a game warden. Yeah, and uh, at least till August you know, and, is. And I can remember when Ronnie and Kelly got married, and it was a great thing. And I told him he finally, finally did the right, did a, did a good deal. <laughs> Both of them are great guys, and they're great crappie fishermen. Well, well, t- well, t- they are. Well, well, tell us about the the, the American Crappie Trail. We we've, we've been really uh, excited, and Ron has, has has helped us with that on the creating the excitement. And I know Ronnie and. Uh, Steve uh, not being able to use one arm and doesn't have one eye missing, and they and they come up and win. 
uh, what what's uh, after we've got how many you got Sardis coming up uh, coming yes, up. Yes, uh, we got Sardis coming up, and you know the the uh, late fee. It's time to register for Sardis. The late fees and off limits start Friday the ninth. Okay, and, all right. Uh, you know that's the that's when you can't share information during the off limits for the guys. And uh, the last two days to sign up is the six, uh, last day to sign up is June the 18th by 9 p.m. And you have to pay a late fee of $25. But, you know, it, the, the payback yeah. is so good. And, you know, I got involved with the American Coffee Trail with Matt Morgan, uh-huh. not because of, of Matt, not because of, of any other reason. Then I this thing we've been waiting on something like this to come along for years. Yeah, that's what Ron and, said. That's what Ronnie. And did. I wanted, yeah. I wanted to be involved with it because it's an opportunity for crappie fishermen all over the country to fish for bigger prizes and to get some national recognition. Thanks to Ron Wong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and some of the other outdoor riders that have been very very gracious to us. Uh, but uh, you know it. It's an opportunity, and the way we got to get this thing going, and, and way we, we've had good participation. Yeah. But if you're a crappie fisherman, and you know somebody that's an, a, a good crappie fisherman, and we all know one another, we all share information and talk to each other on the phone. Uh-huh. If you know somebody that is a good crappie fisherman, get them involved. Here's their chance. With you. Yeah. If they don't do anything but come to watch the wave. Yeah. So this is a, this is anybody's game. And I, anybody I mean, I, can, yes. Any, you can. I mean, like it started. You can pull. You can push. You can one line. You can fish structures. You can count. I mean, any way that you feel comfortable enough to weigh in twelve. Ten to twelve pounds of fish a day. It, it you you got a chance to win. Yes, yeah, and and especially at Sardis. Yeah, Absolutely. especially at Sardis. And I wanted to ask Ron about that because uh, you know we've been to Kentucky Lake, we've been down to Louisiana, we've already Garbone. been. Garbone. Uh, yeah, already been. You, I couldn't say that. <laughs> already been to Grenada. So here comes Sardis looming up here on the twenty third and twenty fourth. That's if right. I'm not mistaken. That's uh, right. Yeah. And, and and that is a hotbed for crappie fishing, that whole area right there. So any of you folks out there, this is this is a chance to compete with the big guys. And, Absolutely. And, and come down and watch some of the, the best crappie fishing in the world and at the same time say, I think I could do that. And you know? they can come down and meet Sam Eaton. Yeah. With the big guys on their own level. Everybody got, has got to weigh in the same number of fish. So it don't matter if you're Ronnie Caps or Steve Coleman or if you're Ron Wong. You still got a chance to win this thing. Even Ron Wong. <laughs> and there you go, right there. And, hey, um, and you know, let's... you talk about that down at Sardis Lake. Uh, you know, and Sam, you just mentioned there are all different kinds of ways that you could possibly win down there on Sardis yeah. Lake. And you can still catch them vertical jigging. And, you know, one of the things that I have had the pleasure of using – and Larry Ray's getting ready to have the pleasure of using is your new super sensitive redesigned fishing rod from B and M. They're hard to get, yeah. I can tell you that. Jack Wells has told me that. And we're gonna have Jack <laughs> on the show, uh, Ron, in a couple of weeks, uh, to All talk right. about Buck some of this stuff. Yes. Oh Buck. I had an idea a long, long time ago. And I went to Buck with it because I was doing some pro stuff with Uh-huh. And he had enough confidence in me to to design, help let me help design, and him manufacture the Sam Heat Super Sensitive Rod and Reel. Yes, I mean rod, uh-huh. and it has been it 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 is really you can't believe how many people fish this thing. Yeah, I know. And I am so so grateful to both those guys. Well, you know those guys, and I go back uh, thirty years with the. Uh, uh, B and M. I know it's it, it was hard to believe that you got uh, at at one time you got Mossy Oak right there in West Point, mm-hmm. and you got B and M right mm-hmm. there in West Point, Mississippi, and uh, 
there used to be a boat dealer down there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, and you know, Motor Guide used to be there. Motor That's Guide where was they there. started. Yeah, that that may there. be what I was thinking about, but uh, it was Herschel Clock. That's company. okay. Yeah, but uh, you know, and now those guys, I don't know how many junior fishing rodeos we got one coming up today, uh, Sam, uh, here in Memphis on this Saturday morning. And I asked Jack Wells, and he sent me up some Duck Commander uh, crappie rods and reels to oh, give away nice. to these kids. And I don't, yeah. I, I don't know how many fishing poles and cane poles or whatever it is that B and M has given away. And and now we're looking at kids who may want to start crappie fishing. You know, we've always got this big. Are about the bass fishermen, and that you know that is mm-hmm. that's TV and things been around like that. forever. Been around forever, sure. but I think been around now, for a long time. I think uh, when I did my article, Ronnie Caps and Steve, and last Sunday's Memphis paper, there was people that I I never heard of that was so enthralled with with that duo and saying, "Is uh, my kid saw that and he 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 kind of liked to do that?" So. We got some little kids that would like to crappie fish. We never hit in that area, and I think you being a spokesman, Ron Wong's a spokesman. Let's get more kids crappie fishing. Let me tell you something about the sport of fishing. In no other sport can you go with an eighty-year-old man, <laughs> yeah. a forty-year-old woman, and an eight-year-old kid, and all three of them have the same expectation of what the day is going to bring them. Wow. It's the greatest sport yeah. in the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and, but After we're, all, Jesus was a, was a fisherman, man. That's right. <laughs> you can't get better than that. You know, all of his guys were fishermen. That's who they were because he told them how to fish. Yeah. But, uh, no, before we go here, Sam, I know that uh, – so at Sardis, we're going to have uh, the best of the best, right? At it, it, it Sardis? Oh, yeah. 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 The, the bigger names like Whitey Outlaw, Ronnie and Steve. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, all those guys – are going to be there, Digger and and Matt and and Matt Outlaw and all those guys are going to be there. So if you want to really meet some guys, yes, and and they, and they'll they'll awesome. talk to you. They'll talk to you. These Absolutely. guys are. Absolutely, yeah. that's that's one of the things that you. They're not surrounded by uh, bodyguards or anything. You know, these guys. No, you can show oh, up down we've there. Got, we've got another exciting thing that's going to happen at. Uh, at, at the at the weigh in at Batesville Civic Center, we're going to have a drive through weigh in where you can actually look at their boats, see how their boats are rigged, really actually look yeah. at their rods yep. and reels, and see what they're fishing with. Wow! Well, that's uh, yeah. th- that's come a long way from bringing in there your you know, your stringer <laughs> on a on a metal hook, chain. <laughs> yeah, on a chain. <laughs> well, uh, let me tell you, the <laughs> you first crappie talk. tournament when yeah. I was with Crappie Thon back in the nineteen eighties. Yeah, the first crappie thon that I ever had, I weighed the fish in in a bread sack. In a bread sack? <laughs> in a bread sack, dude. Uh, well, Bill Cook, so you were going to say something about that. Uh, well, I, I was just going to talk about the approachable oh, thing. Uh, what? Uh, the, the, just get Van Cleve talking. He'll tell you all you ever wanted to hear about fishing. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah but there's no zipper. You know, just uh, <laughs> put a lip to it, to put a zip on it and everything like that. But, uh, Sam, we appreciate you, buddy. And, uh, again, that's, uh, Ron, that's, that's June 23rd and 24th, Sardis Lake, uh, based out of what? Where are we going to be down there? Out of Sardis? Yes. At Batesville. I don't know where the ramp is yet. I had to Engineer's to Point. But, Engineer's but Point, Sam. Is gonna be, the last way is going to be at Batesville. Yeah, the at the Civic Center. At the, the Civic Center. Day, the uh, weigh-in will be at Engineers Point there on the dam at Sardis Lake. Well, it's going to be a great thing. Hope to see you there, Sam. Good luck, buddy. Thank well, you. And uh, Hey, Ron. Hey, yes. Ron. Make sure you keep doing radio because you got the face for it, buddy. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> w- would you mind doing an owl hoot as we go out of here, please? There you go, Sam Hayden. There he goes. That's a crow in there, too. Thank you, Sam. We'll talk to you. Let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray and be right back. You can find.